from New York, the greatest city in the world, it's the Big Show with David Letterman. Tonight, Amy Sedaris, magician Jason Randall, and musical group America with Ryan Adams and Ben Queller. Let me ask you this. Do you like uh, uh, magic? Do you like to be fooled? Do you like oh, to see guys and the men and women of who get fooled? Yes, of course. Uh, so anyway, we have a guy on tonight who is uh, as good as Houdini ever was, at his best, is as good as Houdini was. Get out. And, and we'll ask him about Houdini's escape from the can trick. Out and, of the can, yeah. And, and also he will be doing uh, uh, amazing, uh, tremendous uh, sleight of hand magic for us tonight. Jason Randall is oh, the gentleman's oh, name. Jason Randall. Ta-da! We're always delighted to have our next guest on the program. He's a very talented uh, magician, mentalist, and sleight of hand artist. Here's our good friend, Jason Randall. As a matter of fact, I have. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. Do you I, know much about Houdini? I, uh, I actually do. I used to give lectures on him. It really? Yeah. He'd send, uh, he'd send some of the things like the cans ahead of him and let people look at him, Dave, mm -hmm. before he got to town. Right. And they'd check it all out. And sometimes uh, the stuff he got out of isn't the stuff he sent ahead of him. But Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. So they would play tricks on him? Sometimes. Yeah. And handcuffs? He would get out handcuffs and straight jackets and stuff oh, like that? Oh, yeah. He was a spectacular guy. What do we have here? I've got... Now, when you're trying to entertain different kinds of people, you've got to have different kinds of uh, methods. For example, I've got these cups right here, and you notice that they've got some numbers on them. Mm -hmm. Did and you put the numbers on, Jason? I did. I they look great. Did. <laughs> they look great. <laughs> Tremendous job. On Thank that. you. Yeah. Now, we're going to take some, uh, some water. Mm -hmm. Bottled and water. We're going to pour it into one of the cups. All right. Can you see this, Amy? Yeah, oh, I'm watching. Yeah, yeah. Right. As I pour it in like this. There you go. Right. Now, here's, what, here's how you would entertain, let's say, a young person. You could take the cups like this, Dave, and you could move them around like that, mm -hmm. and then even like this. And if the child saw that you originally put the the water in cup number one, right. then the child would say it's in cup number one. That's correct. Right. But that's not how you fool an adult. Right. I was fooled. Yeah. How you fool an, <laughs> how you fool an adult is like this. Whoa. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Wow. Did you... Did you see that? I was confused. That was creepy, I was wasn't it? I was confused. I was creepy. See, my, my problem is I have the, uh, the ADD, so I never can pay attention to the setup. Right. So, so I, never, I never know when the trick's finished. <laughs> and, and, but that thing, really, that was crazy. You know, so, so that means there's a cup of water floating around unaccounted for. <laughs> Thus, we're going to fill the milk can with the water. <laughs> now, the premise, you just said it's hard, it's hard to follow the premise, yeah. and that's an interesting thing, Dave. For, let me show you an example of that. Let's say that I was going to have you choose a card, mm. and so you say stop somewhere. Okay, stop. Okay, now we'll take the card and put it there. Okay. Now, I need to take a peek at that card, but because of the pressure of the television and not knowing where the cameras are, right. I don't have the idea mm. to do that. So. I'm going to take you to a different premise to distract you. Okay. I'm going to find the cards that match that. Watch. The first one's right here in the middle, the three of spades. Mm -hmm. And we'll put it down. Now I cut the cards. This time I have to actually feel what I'm doing. I can't see. And the second three would be here on the bottom. Wow. And now the last three, if I'm right, would be on the top, oh, the three of clubs. Right. And if I'm lucky, this card will match as well. Right. Turn it right over. Please. That's, that's Don't be not... glad for too long because look at this, Amy. Oh, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's, great. No. that's remarkable. I was expecting one of those cards to be soaking wet. <laughs> wow. 
people ask me, they say, Jason, when did you change the cards? Yes, when did you when actually exactly make the change? change? Now, when I made the change, it's kind of cool. I changed the cards when I turned the cards. And I thought if I did this with four jokers, I'd love to show you that in slow motion. Mm -hmm. Because it's always fun to show people how you do something. Okay. Let's take the four jokers like this. And right now they're face up. If I want to distract you by taking a joker out like this, that gives me a moment to turn one of the jokers face up or face down. Watch. I did it. And there it is, Dave, face down. Now, I'll never get away with that again. Let me show you, let me give you an example. I'll just pretend. Oh, I did get away with it. Look, I turned a second one face down. Look, two are face down. Now, I'll show you slow motion how I did it. What I did was, I take one joker like this, and I turn it over uh, with the other jokers. Is, sure. But that doesn't really no. answer the question of when did I switch the exactly. cards. You switched them. Oh, yeah, I switched them. They're all four aces now. Oh, my God. Is that amazing? You should, you should yeah. have them at your next party. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. yeah. Do you have a lot of cards at your house? I do. Oh. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of water, too. Oh, yeah, wow. I wish, if, I wish I could do that. That's nice. That's, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. I've heard you make that noise before, but I never saw you do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> now, the last trick I'd love to do for you, I want okay. to put it all together. Put it all together. Here good. we go. So, um, uh, Dave, watch all these go by. Think about one. Do you have one? No, you didn't. No, I do. I have one. No, no. I, I have one, yeah. You actually saw I, one? I, I, well, yeah, I have one. Okay. I could just take a wild guess. Was it a club? No. A spade? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to guess you were thinking. May I have your, your hand out like this? I'm going to guess it was the nine of spades. No, it wasn't. Not. No. What was it? What were you thinking? Jack of spades. Really? Yeah. Look in your hand. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, boy. Wow. I, <laughs> That's pretty good. I know it. It was amazing. No, that I, beats getting out of a can. <laughs> <laughs> it beats getting into a can, too. Yeah, wow. Let me, some people might think you thought of a jack because I did a trick with jacks earlier. But take one of these out this time and show it to your studio audience. And I'll look the, down here so I can't even see the monitor. May I show it to Amy as well? Please, show it to Amy and tell me when you're done. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, David, place it somewhere inside like this. Now, I'm going to find it by using, again, my tactile sense. I feel, mm. I feel, and I'm going to cut them and program them. I need your hand again, because this time, you're going to feel it, but you won't see it. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, is my new motto. <laughs> <laughs> the first card tells me... That's all the guys say. The first card tells me that yours was red. The second card tells me that yours had a number, not a face. And the last said, if I spell the word for, a short word, F... O U R. I'm holding your car right here. I'd even bet on it. Okay. <laughs> what, what, the basket. what was it? I, and I, I, I don't know that I remember. Do you remember what it was? I do remember. I do what, remember. what was it, Amy? Well, can I say it out loud? Yeah. Five of our hearts. That's right. Five exactly of hearts. Exactly right. Oh, wow. man. Didn't I put that card in your hand earlier? I thought you put it in my so hand earlier. Because it's gone, isn't it? It is gone. And this Absolutely. has changed, too. Oh, now stop that. That's just remarkable. Unbelievable. Isn't that incredible? Wow, very nice. You didn't tell anybody how I did it. No, I want the water to come back. <laughs> nice job. Jason Thanks, Randall, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. Very impressive. We'll be right back with Ryan Adams and Ben Queller, everybody.